In this video, we're checking out the man, Joe Marler, who is a prop for England's national rugby team and the Harlequins, which is his club team. I have to give a shout out to my man, Josh Munn, for linking me into this man. So we're gonna check him out, see what plays he has. And we're watching the channel from our good friend, Andrew David Ford. His channel will be in the descriptions below. If you like these reaction videos, crew, let me know by dropping a subscribe. We see that 95% of you that check out our channel have yet to subscribe. It helps us to continue to make better content in the rugby space and build valuable connections as we continue to grow this channel within the world of rugby. And it also keeps you dialed into the new videos that are dropping, crew. So I appreciate you for being here. Let's check out the man, Joe Marler. Let's go. Again, massive shout out to the man, Andrew David Ford, for providing us these compilation videos of Joe Marler. His channel is in the descriptions below. Be sure to drop in, show him a love, show him some love, subscribe to his channel, makes incredible rugby compilation content and a great person overall. So I appreciate you, Big Andrew. And you know how we like to start off crew? Get a little background of the man. It says, Joseph William George Marler is an English professional rugby union player who plays as a prop for the premiership rugby club harlequins and the england national team he's 33 years old 265 six foot and he's a loose head prop okay so he's a number one that's gonna be it's so nice we're finally getting to <laughs> we're starting to make more videos of forwards now i know uh y'all hit me up in the comment section saying i've uh only showcased the backs in the game like the the glory players now we're getting to get into the nitty gritty players the, the props the forwards <laughs> so it'll be fun to check him out our two videos today from andrew ford uh, be sure to check his channel out 10 minutes of joe marler being joe marler and then we have a five minute five minutes of joe marler winding up opponents so we'll start with the 10 minutes first i appreciate y'all being here as always let's check him out <clears throat> yeah just two a sec um, we had a flag earlier on for a late tackle by you but the advantage played through just you know understand the energy levels hey i got in too but you got to maintain discipline all right you didn't get picked out at world cup mate i did <laughs> Well, I, I didn't get picked. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. I like, I like the back. I mean, I like the back and forth between the ref and Joe on this one, and just hearing that that banter, that chatter is really, really cool. And the the play, I could see how it, how it caused the issue. He led with his shoulder on this hit. Let me see. Yeah, he sort of like clubbed into him and just ran straight through him. Um, I'm. Don't think I just think it's a penalty, right? Because he does he does initiate a rap, but I like the I like the banter back and forth between <laughs> him and the ref. <laughs> Could have blown that dude's knee out. But twenty-seven phases of rugby perfection. He said, "You're boring uh, me. Hurry up." We've got another week to to get back on the horse, you know, and take that horse to the <clears> water. <throat> and you can ask that horse. You can say, "Hey, horsey." Do you want do you want to have a drink or do you want to swim yeah and it's up to that horse to then realize what he wants to do in his life and that horse at the moment wants to go out at, on saturday he wants to clippity clop all the way to the stoop <laughs> and he wants to say hello to those fans and he goes and he goes i'm sorry about the <laughs> result last week what the hell well, i'm gonna give a better performance <laughs> Here at home against Bar. He's a slightly Irish horse. <laughs> what the hell is he um, talking about? <laughs> so we're looking forward to He's a character. Like say, getting back on that horse. And are you looking forward to getting back on the horse six months since we lost saw you? I don't like horses. I can't ride. <laughs> what the He's a he's a trip. Any sort of infection, but oh Lord. He's a trip. He's a good personality. And it was all things equine for him. The damn Make horse. <laughs> oh stupid. English prop just off the top of your head. He has funny hair. His second hand begins with M. Mar Marla. Yeah, he's got that funny hair. Is he your is he your favourite English player? Good man, well done. He's good. I like him. Um, so you he has a good personality. Online, didn't you? He's cool. Yeah, which I thought we were all going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I look back and they go, oh, no, they're not doing it. Like, yeah. Well, I've already committed now. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the team has received a fine of is it two thousand pounds or dollars? What's the? Yeah. <clears throat> and and so who's paying the fine? Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. 
Am I? Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't a wind up. Oh, look at this. There you go. Oh, my word. Yeah, he's got he's a, a good a personality. I like him. He has a lot of personality, a lot of character. <laughs> really, really good energy. A fun Jay person, it seems like. Big man. Rather less than uh, pleasant clinch with Joe Marler. James. James. What happened there? Well, the referee's going to have to take control here. This is going to be an interesting listen. Two very experienced players who are going to get a bit of a telling off. And lol. He sprayed water in my face. Oh, he sprayed he water in his face. He sprayed water in my face. And I reacted. And he choked me with his thumb cap. It's not allowed. You're going to the yeah, 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 that was a bad reaction. That instant and, <laughs> and listen to yourself yeah. go. Sir, he pulled my scrum cap off <laughs> and he squirted water <laughs> in my face and you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> that's a that's the cool thing I, I feel about rugby is there may be like the they may heat up during a game like they they have a little bit of controversy but I've noticed that rugby athletes come together at the end of the match no matter what happens and have fun banter about it sort of just chat and sort of um, sort of chew the fat about what happened during the game there's a little bit of tension but after it's all let go and you just like share drinks together I really like that about about rugby No animosity after. I paid for mine though. Did I just overhear Joe Marlow <laughs> said I paid for mine? Say to referee Andrew Small, are you wearing those boots for a bet? Speaking of Queen's boys, let's welcome Joe Marlow. He's there in the back of the room. Um, that's all nerve you talking to. We've got a couple, we've got a couple words back. And there are two people. I think you might have gone a bit overboard here, Gareth. <laughs> so silly. So yeah, as you can see, Joe's in a good spirit as usual. The Saracens versus the Quins. At least he has in part. I just keep yelling. He's a big dude. He's a really good size. He's a solid 260. Like I said, like American football athletes, like our our linemen. When they're they're not overweight, they're just massive, but they're they're lean, they're tapered. I really like that look. And Joe Marler has that type of build where he's a big man. He holds a he carries a lot of weight on a, on a massive frame. Well, he's six foot, so he's still like um still like a like a, a shorter dude, I guess. Because when I think like offensive linemen in in America, they're usually around like six six to six eight. They're pretty massive dudes, but he just has such a tight a tight strong frame. He's a great build. Wearing a space suit. I'm not sure the context of that one. Or those are those are those those, those sweat suits where you can you can sweat out additional water out of your body. That's what it looked like to me. A little bit. Of Let Japanese me know if that's there. correct. Um, uh, how how have the team got on with learning Japanese? Who's who's the best? Who struggled with it? Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> He's stupid. Genki Deska. Good. Konnichiwa. Oh, you're just throwing the words around now. Sayonara. But he walks over he's and just trip. puts his hand in the face. And it, all he's trying to do is, thinks, right, I've got an opportunity here. I've just put my hand in the face there, push him. But he catches <laughs> him too hard. It's the look on his it's face. So what, what, what that's that's exactly what, what he do wants. You he do? wants someone to swing at him, hit him. He goes down. Oh, he just a give him a little, the Quins clear the lines. He it's a little tap. A hero, but unfortunately for Joe, he just catches him a little bit too hard. Yeah, he's just trying to stir him up. Start like this, and then I'll go like that, and we'll go. Thank, Thank you. you. No, no, no. Hell no. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Have you got all day? Okay. This okay. Look at me to start. No, I can't, mate. It's so <laughs> bad. <It's laughs> stupid as hell. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so that's the first video i appreciate you andrew we're going to go to the second one which is five minutes of joe marler winding up opponents he seems really good at that like he has really good on the field banter and just does little little things to get in people's heads and like to me he has that personality where he's just messing around but it stirs somebody else up because they're a little bit more hot-headed than he is it was what i've seen just from these clips third world cup cycle in a row <laughs> He's hella stupid. 
I like how he has fun. He's up here staring at him. He's a trip. He's fun to watch. It, w it wouldn't be a Harlequins game without that man, Joe Marler, just, uh, you know, putting on a little bit of an yeah, exhibition. I watched, I'd watch them. I've seen a lot of the, seen a few of the Quinns games. Makes me want to watch them more just because his personality. It's a good character. <laughs> He's up there twerking. What a. <laughs> silly. James Haskell at the moment is a, in a rather less than uh, pleasant clinch with Joe Marler. James. That's when he sprayed the water in the man's face. Well, the and see how he's just sort of just like here. laughing. To be an interesting <laughs> listen. Two very experienced players who are going to get a bit of a telling off. He sprayed water in my face. Review it again. Two big men. Yeah, so he got him to the sin bin. That's funny. I bowed. Look at my arm. Look at my shoulder. It's touching. Look at him talking. But look at Estevez's face. He's laughing. Where's Estevez? Oh, I couldn't see Elizabeth in the frame. Well, I'm delighted to see it because I think. He reminds me of a lot of like a Jason Kelsey, the Kel one of the Kelsey brothers. He wipes his face. <laughs> like just that that good personality, but a lot like Gronkowski I mean, because he's fun, ability, he's lively. Joe Marla, I like him. <laughs> He can get in people's heads quick, and he's just messing around. Excuse me, the both of you. Header actually to put the ball out of the area, and I think Gilbert comes in and tries to chin him. Nobody's going quickly. I suggest you walk away. He's good at stirring people up, and he's not taking it too serious. It looks like that's a good personality trait to have, especially when it comes to. The, the mental warfare in athletics. Goes Sinclair. He may have done the job for Quinns here. At least he has in part. Off feet playing the ball. Just trying to stir him up. It's funny. <laughs> He's like that little, like that little brother that just keeps nudging you, just like, just just picking at you, just to, to get a rise out of you. That's what it reminds me of. And I never had a little brother, so I was probably that little brother, <laughs> just picking. Right, easy finished. Are we are we finished? Are we gonna have this? John, stand here, please. Joe, enough commentary now. It's winding people up. You can see it again. I'll just penalise you. Back here. Scrum, Quinn's ball. Not allowed to chat, huh? I was really disappointed how quickly <laughs> what is he I doing? was told off by the horse. Sir Wayne Barnes. No, back you go. Back you go. You can't climb over a ruck. That's funny. Joe Marler, really good personality. I'm going to pay more attention to him. I appreciate you, Josh Munn, for linking me into him. 100% going to check out the Quinns more, especially when he's playing. He seems like a very fun personality. I absolutely love players like Joe Marler who have that, <clears throat> that childlike attitude about life and the game where, it's, where they can just have a little bit of fun banter. And sometimes, you know, just coming from the American football background, sometimes some of the scariest players that you play against in football are... The ones that are just incredibly calm and quiet. And I can just remember a story of my brother telling me there was this guy uh, from the opposing team that they're playing. And he's just sitting there, like pregame warmups, talking to uh, talking to my brother, like, hey, how's your day going? He's like, an my brother played uh, strong safety, an incredible athlete. But an offensive lineman was talking to him like, hey, how's your day going? Beautiful day. You know, just like normal banter like you're just having like you're hanging out with friends at a coffee shop type of thing but then when those athletes like that get on the field they're absolute menaces because they have such a calm cool like cerebral mentality going into the game because most of the time you used to it, it's easy to, 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 to talk to players when they're just hyped up because we're all hyped up and just bouncing off the walls ready to like attack one another but like joe marler has that demeanor where he can just stay incredibly calm and he does like little nagging stuff like nothing that like looks like compared to like what we saw like on, on an Ebon Etzebeth video where he's just grabbing him by the collar and just looking ferocious. Marler's more just like 
just messing around doing like kid like kid like banter kid like activities just nudging folks but the other person's so heated and riled up that he sets a trigger off in them and by him just staying calm he's able to get awarded penalties he's all able to take the the opponent out of their game and get them to get yellow cards or even just knock them off their game from that little bit of that mental warfare aspect and that's what's so cool about seeing him and just an awesome personality i mentioned it in the video it reminds me of like a rob Gron rob gronkowski he was the titan for the new england patriots just a fun person to be around and just having like that mentality like tom brady's more serious and rob gronkowski was more like the kid type of um, mentality and it reminds me a lot of that so it's really fun to see joe marla i'm gonna check out more of the quinn's content and check out him and support him it seems like a great guy and just a just a freaking brick house man really a brick house type of a man but i appreciate you linking me into this one crew be sure to drop in the descriptions below and show the man andrew david ford some love on his channel and subscribe over there and i appreciate you for always checking out my videos crew bringing in the love support if you like this video drop a like hit the sub to stay in tune for more rugby content that we're dropping we've really dialed qs in to the world of rugby and transition this brand so expect more content that we're coming upcoming with we're going to still continue to do reactions but also going to create more custom content and have fun within the rugby space and develop that and continue to grow crew i love you i appreciate you always stay laser focused on your dreams and your vision and remember that you're in control much love crew peace